の陰から見守ってた甲斐があったねよしよしショコラご主人様のお役に立てましたねねやっぱりご主人様一人じゃお仕事大変だと思うんですねねえうんうん猫の手でも存分に役に立つ私たちがいなかったらまだ仕分け続行中だと思う。Hey, you two are getting a bit too close. They lean forward towards me with, for emphasis. It is true that without you two around, this would have been a real problem. But it's a different issue than the one from before. You two have to go back home. Besides, it's not like I could ask you two to work for me or anything, okay? So, this guy, your buddy, the me, this guy. Come on, man, don't make her sad. Her shoulders drooped along with her tail, ears, and tail. The enthusiasm she showed earlier had completely disappeared. She sighed deeply and looked disheartened. You see what you did? You did this. How could you do this to her? Look at her. I'm going to do it. 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 For how much you cared about me, it was all the more reason to stay in the to stay the course. ご主人、私たちがいたらそんなに迷惑悪い子 She spoke quietly in her usual way. Vanilla tilted her head as she asked that question. You two aren't bad cat girls. That's why I can't have you stay here. 悪い子じゃないのにダメなの Because you two are good cat girls that you can't allow it.、Mm. She blinked as she took in my words. It was almost as if she was trying to peer inside my heart. She quietly stared directly at me. I'm having trouble understanding what his reasons. This is some bullshit. Vanilla. With those words, she went upstairs. The sound of her small footsteps slowly disappeared, and before long, I couldn't hear them anymore. He was her how to understand, huh? Inside the bakery, now devoid of anyone but myself, I repeated those words she had just said to me. Now that I think about it, It's a pretty inconsistent way of thinking, isn't it? Cat girls do not understand that. Having heard that said out loud, or aloud, I began to understand what it really meant. Must be pretty nice to live a simple life of a cat girl, huh? In the sudden quietness of the bakery, I closed my eyes and shook off the bitter smile on my face as I began to clean up the tea sets that had arrived earlier. Let's just say the cup broke itself. I'm sure that'll work. Why is there a Ferris wheel in the background? The fuck is going on over there? Just like yesterday, we took a walk through the park in the evening. However, that food stand was nowhere to be found. It just so happened that no one was home on the day I decided to take the two cat girls home. I had also happened to leave the house key behind. So, to make sure good use of time, I wanted to do some shopping before Sugar Ray got home. Ah! Ah! 
ごごめんバニラなんだっけまた旅だっけだいたいそんな感じ It ain't the right word at all Chocola, if you're tired, why don't we rest a bit? There's no need for you to apologize. She had a troubled smile on her face as she nodded. It was pretty clear why she wasn't in good spirits. That's why there was nothing I could really say to her. Well, there happens to be a bench over there. So why don't we rest a bit? You have money? Ah, thanks. Something for everyone, okay? Oh, okay. I had vanilla some change and offered the bench to fix chocolate. That's where they got it. As soon as we get past the intro, I'm gonna call it a session. I need, I need sleep. The constant sea breeze rustled the trees in the park. All that could be heard throughout the empty park were the quiet sounds of nature. I silently sat down next to the, to the disheartened chocolate. Like the gently setting sun, time passed by slowly. Oh, she sounds so sad. And the piano kicked in. Her voice was so quiet that I wasn't quite sure if I had heard her or not. Even so, she answered clearly. Without saying a word, I responded by gently rubbing Chocolate's head. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my poor baby. Her voice trembled as she frantically wiped away her tears. She stifled her sobbing and her voice became strained. She looked pained as she did her best to hold back her emotions, biting her lips. I held back my irresponsible words that were at the brink of coming out with all my strength. Yeah, of course I will. <laughs> How dare you, you made her cry. I was frustrated at myself for saying nothing. I felt empty. As you should. Fucking monster. I could only offer condolences that could not be put into words. I rubbed Chocolate's head as gently as I could. I don't really think that I'm kind at all. Before, took a closer her eyes and smiled. You sure gonna tell me? Ah, uh, of course I remember that. It was a cold day half a year ago. Chocolate and Vanilla were huddled together, crying by the side of a road. They were still so young, they couldn't even speak yet. It was that day that I embraced their small, cold bodies and took them home with us. There was no way I could simply forget that important day when our family grew bigger. In the beginning, you two really couldn't get used to things at home. You two wouldn't eat at all, which really were sugar, eh? I started to hear a tiny bit of laughter in her voice as she we remem reminisced about the past. Ah, uh, I definitely do remember that. <laughs> Flashback. <laughs> oh, my sweet babies. <laughs> it was a few days after we brought chocolate and vanilla home. 
At that point, they'd only occasionally drink some water. And as always, they didn't really touch their food. The combination of malnutrition... The combination of malnourishment and cold weather had really begun to wear weaken their bodies. They both developed high fevers and were in pain. あの時は夜中で誰にも気づいてもらえなくてとにかく苦しくて辛くて寂しくて声も出せなくて手も足も全然動かなくて助けて誰か助けてって思いながらただただ泣いてたんですそしたらいい all right i'm with you too so don't worry ご主人様が大きくてあったかい手で撫でてくれたんですよねずっとそばで大丈夫大丈夫って言い続けてくれてそこらとバニラのこと撫で続けてくれてましたおさになって病院に行くまでずっとずっとそばにいてくれて why did you wait till morning? Hospitals are 24-7, aren't they? なんで心細かったのが全部嘘だったみたいにあの時も同じこと言ってました俺は別に優しくなんかないってでもそこらたちはご主人様が助けてくれなかったら ここにいなかったですあの時ご主人様がそばにいてくれなかったら誰も信じられないままでしたご主人様のおかげでご飯も食べれるようになりましたしぐれちゃんともみんなとも仲良くなれましただからあの時からそこらのご主人様は you know Vanilla's taking her sweet ass time, ain't she? I wish that her tear filled eyes would not spill over. Those tears were filled with anxiety, sadness, and happiness. She smiled all she could before me. She said that was the faintest of smiles, one that seemed as if it would disappear at any moment. Those words were so gentle and warm, but there was also an undeniable sadness and emptiness mixed in with them. Chocola. I was the one she was saying all this to. Even so, the only thing I could say back to her was her name. Sweet baby, you can ask for as many favors as you need. Oops. Chocolate voiced her feelings clearly once again, and barely kept her tears from overflowing. Of course, Chocolate, if you could be with me, I was engulfed by my inner thoughts, which were ready to overflow. She yearned for me so earnestly. For her to so innocently believe in me, there should be no reason for me to be against it. That day, chocolate vanilla became an important part of my family. As long as they were with me, the days would be bright and enjoyable. 
I was simply selfish for not having for wait, I was simply selfish for just leaving home like that. I didn't want to get my dear family wrapped up in my selfishness or have them experience any unnecessary hardship because of me. You two are important to me, after all. Oh, there you are. Get the drinks. My inner conflict was disrupted by Vanilla. Vanilla had returned at some point, and she looked straight at me as she sat by Chocola. たとえ辛いことでもショコラと一緒にいたいと思うだって一緒にいれないことの方が寂しくて辛いから。ヴァニラ本当に好きなら迷惑かけたって一緒にいたいそれでも一緒にいたいものだと思う私たちが幸せか
Why don't we head back to the shopping district then? You need to go and get your fucking shampoo, huh? <laughs> I knew it. We have to go buy that shampoo, we like, don't we? We will do no such thing. I guess we will, never mind, take that back. Well, today's a celebration, so why not? Just for today, okay? This was the beginning to a bright new life. And together with the happy and high-spirited chocolate and vanilla, we took the first steps towards it. Title scroll, which we already saw earlier. Alright guys, so once this is over, uh, it's going to be the end of the session. Because it's currently 4.30 in the morning. I am horrifically tired. And I believe that uh, the session that we got in now, we got through the entire intro, or prologue, whatever you want to call it. So, uh, that's a good stopping point, if you ask me. I believe tomorrow... In the evening, I'll be recording more Dragon Age. Because I need to get more of that done. But I believe... I can't say that. Um, when the fuck can I play more of this? Maybe Friday. I might be able to do Friday. We'll see. I'll do what I can do. But until then... I'm going to let this finish playing out, and once it's over, I'll be piecing on out. So until then, I hope you guys have a good day, a good night, do good at work or at school, and I'm going to go ahead and head on out of here, so bye-bye.